Okay, now if you want to build your computer, which there are many reasons to build a computer, because you're going to get more performance for your dollars, and you're going to be able to be, build a decent gaming rig that can play a couple games for about under $500, when $500 for buying a commercial system will get you crap. So, I'm going to tell you everything you need to get a computer to run, and then I'm going to install them and unbox them in a three-part, well, in a three-series thing. All right. So first of all, of course, you need a case. Um, you need DD, DDR2 to DDR3, whichever one your motherboard handles. So you need some RAM. I'd go with two gigs if you want it to run some games. All right. Of course, you need a processor. This is a four-core X2 Athlon processor with 2.8 gigahertz on it. Stop. Um, comes with a heat sink. Okay. This right here under here is this is a hard drive, 500 gigabytes SATA. And if you're planning on running new games, these next 10 games are about 10 gigabytes to 14 gigabytes per game. So you want to go around half a chick, half a till, or however they say it. You want to go about 500 gigabytes at least if you want to put some games on it. All right, of course you got to have a graphics card if you want to run some games on here. You know, this is a 9600 GSO. It's decent. We'll run a lot of the new games. Keyboard, generic old keyboard snacks or five dollars, you know. Uh, Biostar, well, you just need a motherboard. I got this for free when I bought the processor. So, again, save money that way. Wait for sales. Be patient when you do it because next new thing is always going to be cheaper. Again, you need a power supply. If you're going to want to run a decent graphics card, I go at least 500 gigabytes. Again, that's me. That's not you. You might want to go somewhere else. And I mean, but watts instead of gigabytes, but you know what I mean. And then, of course, if you want wireless connectivity and you don't have a, and you're not right next to your living room or wherever you keep your router, you're going to want a decent wireless card to get your right wireless signal. Because you might want to go cheap and say, yeah, I'm going to upgrade it later, but you're going to waste that $20 on going cheap. So basically, this is all the parts that you'll recommend. Of course, you need a DVD drive, which I didn't mention yet, and other things. You can tell me in the comments what I missed. And, um, this is all you need. I got this. I bought um, these. I bought this. These two were bundled, so I got the motherboard free. This hard drive was 30 bucks when I bought it used. Uh, and this keyboard and the power supply were about under $220 at Micro Center. Um, I got this from a friend who bought it for me for a birthday gift. This normally runs around $40. Uh, and this, I don't know how much this cost, but again, he gave it to me because he wasn't using it. And um, it's brand new, so I'm pretty sure this runs about for like $30, I'm not sure. And the power supply, this runs about $30, so you can buy this system for about $400 easy. And it'll run some games, it's a very good system. Alright, now I'm about to unbox the case in my next video, don't forget to subscribe and watch that. And um, thank you, this is Gamer Reviews, out.